Number 28, what is the maximum number of lines per centimeter diffraction grading can have and produce a complete first order spectrum? So we have to produce a complete first order spectrum. So we're gonna use our constructive formula that the distance, all right, between the slits basically, or between the number of lines will equal sine of theta. And that is then equal to the order multiplied now by the wavelength. So we have to solve this for D. So that's just M lambda over sine theta. Now we want all the lines to fit on this particular you know, projection. So the theta value, it has to be a maximum. It actually has to be 90 degrees, all right? And therefore sine of 90 is just going to now be uh, one. The M is also one. So what that tells us is now that the uh, distance between them is gonna be equal to the wavelength. Now, you have to use the largest wavelength. Um, and the reason for that is you might say, well, let's use the minimum wavelength. Um, because that'll minimize D, but then we take the reciprocal, so won't that maximize? But the problem is you won't get then the uh, longer wavelengths on the screen. So you have to use the greatest value for the wavelength here in order to fit uh, all or get a complete spectrum, all right? So uh, this is going to be now D will be equal to the largest wavelength, and that is going to be 700 and about 60 times 10 to the minus ninth, all right, meters. Okay, now you can convert that into centimeters if you wanted or, you know, whatever. But uh, what, what I'm gonna do at this point is then I'm gonna take, I under, right, we're gonna take the reciprocal because this is really meters per line. And now I want line per meter, so that's really one line every single 760 times 10 to the minus ninth meters. So when we do one divided by then 760 times 10 to the minus ninth, we get now about, this is now about 1.32 or so times 10 to the one, two, three, it looks like six, right? But that's, remember lines per meter. We gotta get rid of the meter, plug in centimeter, for every meter there's 100 centimeters. So you divide that by 100. So in other words, this would come out to be now 1.32 times 10 to the fourth, all right, lines per centimeter. So that'd be about the value. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully that helps. I'll see you in the next one. All right, take it easy.